that's even nice. Lovely to see you here. It's all fine. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I literally just went live and they went, oh, there's nothing on that dummy. <laughs> Good afternoon, happy Friday, everybody. What is that? That dummy's right behind you. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, no. Oh, it's all gone out the window today. <laughs> the tulips have drooped. <laughs> no, everything, yes, it got too hot. It's okay, I don't think there's anyone here yet. So no. I think we got away with it. We can't edit it, though, for the re replay. Oh, that's, that, <laughs> that's very true. <laughs> Well, hope everyone's out in the sunshine today. Isn't it a gorgeous day? So happy Friday, happy St George's Day as well. I'm just scrolling down while I catch my breath. Oh. <laughs> I just saw the beginning crazy bit. Oh, but the head fell off <laughs> yeah. the dummy. Yeah. yeah, four people were watching at that point. Uh oh. So do say hello. <laughs> we are here for you, really, not just for us running around in the sewing room. What have you been up to this week? We've had a really lovely week. It's been really, really lovely and busy this week. We've done lots of sew-alongs this week. So let me know where you are and what you've been up to this week. Have you just been outside enjoying the sun? It's been such a lovely week. <laughs> Julie week. Morris. Hi, oh dear, you haven't got away with it. Oh. Darn it. Oh well. <laughs> Julie caught us. Julie caught us. <laughs> and you pressed live and then realised that the yeah. time was empty. <laughs> So, yes, yeah, so we've been doing sew-alongs this week. Um, we've been doing, uh, we did the couture skirt on Tuesday. So we started off with that on Tuesday. Uh, and then we started the Meg's Atelier utility coat on um, Tuesday evening, which was really good fun. So we had lots of chat about seam finishing with waterproof fabrics and what we were gonna do for fastenings and all sorts of things. So that was great. Uh, and then Wednesday and Thursday, we did the True Bias Southport dress, which I'm wearing today. Uh, which is a really pretty dress, really lovely. And we had this re a really nice make. Uh, if you want to make this dress, it's a really good one, actually, to make. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Carolyn. Oh, afternoon, ladies. Thank you, Lisa. Hi, Carolyn. Oh, Alice is here on Instagram. She's done the little, like, rock star emoji. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Jo's here. She Hi, Jo. Hi, Jo. So, yeah, this is the Southport dress, which you may have seen pictures of Instagram on Instagram yesterday of this one. Uh, and uh, it's a lovely dress, I recommend it. And you can make it long or short, so a really perfect summer dress. Perfect summer dress. And then what did we do on Wednesday evening? We uh, worked the second week of our Sunday pattern, the Merchant and Mills dressing gown pattern. So lots of Hong Kong binding, um, and uh, seam samples, pocket samples. And then Thursday evening, we started the Carolyn pajamas. Hi, Jilly. Which is the closet core pattern. Hi, Susan. Hi Susan, hi Jilly, nice to see you. Hi Jill, thanks for joining us this afternoon. Hi Janet. Oh hi Janet. And then this morning I have my nails done, so I'm very happy now to have my nails done. <laughs> Finally got nice long red nails again, so. Uh, yes, the bodice is really easy to fit, Karen, the Southport dress. Um, it's True Bias designed for a C cup, which is a three inch difference between your high bust and your full bust. Um, Hi Jackie. Hi Jackie. Jackie joined us for this uh, class this week. How are you getting on with your dress? Um, really easy to fit actually. It fitted everybody in the class. One lady we had to raise the armhole for, but apart from that it was a really easy fit. Just check the positioning of the dart. I had to lower mine probably about an inch, my dart. Um, hi Philippa, how are you? Hi Phil. Nice to see you. Thanks for joining us ladies this afternoon. It's so lovely outside. I know. Oh, Nan is here on Instagram. Oh, hi Nan on Instagram. Hi Nan. She's upgraded herself. Oh, she has, yeah. Hi Sally. Oh, hi Jackie. Jackie says she's doing the buttonholes. It has got four um, buttonholes down the front here. You actually don't need to open the buttons, so you could cheat with those, but it is nice to do buttons and buttonholes. Hi Barbara. Hi Barbara. Uh, yes, this is the um, the style arc um, Stacy denim jacket that I'm wearing uh, today. I wasn't so I couldn't get my arm out. I've got it all strapped up today, so I couldn't really see that. So I just thought I'd wear this over my dress. It's a great jacket, isn't it? I think you're going to make this one, Barbara, aren't you? It's a really good. It's a really good pattern. Definitely recommend it. Quite small seam allowances, but once you get past that, it's fine. <laughs> Whereas the Southport dress is half inch seam allowances in most places. Like a lot of independents, it does chop and change a little bit. So yeah, we've had really good fun this week. Lots of uh, lots of things going on. Uh, I've kept an eye on what everyone else is up to. Suzanne's put lots of pictures up on the, on the Mutter Sewers this week. Um, a lovely thing she's making for her grandchildren. She's actually gonna actually be uh, 
leaving Guernsey next week, <coughs> excuse me, and coming back to England to see her grandchildren. So that's lovely, Suzanne. Oh, I think uh, Mary from Cloning Couture is watching on Instagram. Oh, hi, Mary. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. I was going to talk about that this today, actually, the new, new sew alongs we've got coming up. Um, oh, I just had to mention Karen's picture of her Moscow mule. Very good. Good cocktail work, Karen. Nice, yeah. nice to see you've been. I'm appreciating it. people actually going making ahead it. and yeah, making, making the drinks. drinks. Yeah. <laughs> well done, Karen. Um, yeah, so I've, I've put up some new sew alongs. So, we just, as you know, we've decided to carry on the sew alongs after we open the sewing room. We're hoping to open the sewing room on the. Um, you're making me laugh, thanks, behind the camera. Sorry. I'm looking at the. Because the Instagram text, for some reason, has gone white, oh. which means I have to go really close to it to see it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was just like, oh, someone's reading. It looks like I need glasses, doesn't it? <laughs> it's not like you at all. Um, yeah, so we decided to keep the sew alongs going after the 17th of May. We're a bit delirious today. Um, we are a bit, aren't we? Hi, Maggie. Hi, Maggie. How are you? Uh, and so I put a few new ones up. There is the, um, we're doing a half slip. We had lots of discussion about making a slip. Oh, the garden party. Yes, yes we, we did. For 7th of August, yeah. Lisa. 7th of August. So August 1. Yep, we fixed the date, and so we're just got to get all the details my, sorted. Next week is my garden party planning week, yes. so I'll be securing the venue, and then I'll pop details up. Hi, Justy. I saw you've been making a hat, Justy. That looks great with all that spiral top stitching. That was mesmerising, wasn't Margaret's it? Margaret's here as well. Hi, Margaret. She's oh, hi, joining Margaret. from Cheshire. Oh, yeah, that's Visiting lovely. Visiting her daughter. I heard you were going away for a few days, Margaret. How nice. Hi, hi Sue. Hi, Sue. How are you? We've been driving past the race court, past the motor circuit, and seeing all the lights and the big screen there. It looks really look great. It looks really exciting in there. Just uh, anyone in Instagram that's wondering why we're saying hello to lots of people, it's because we're live on Facebook at the same time. So oh, we yes, have. We are. And the same, if you don't see the comments pop up, it's because they're on Facebook. Yes, we're doing Facebook and Instagram. So Lisa's saying that's great. That's the one um, you can do, yeah. Yeah, yes, that's great. And we'll finally get to meet. That'd be so good. It'd be Very so lovely exciting. to meet lots of people because we have actually met lots of people. Through the through the lives and through the sew alongs, who haven't met in person, so it'll be really nice to, to meet you in person, Lisa. Come and see our pretty little village here. Yeah, it's town, yeah. it's a town, it's a town really, isn't, isn't it? it? It's very busy this week. It's been very busy for this week. It's crazy getting here today. Yeah. So, uh, like I said, as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by myself. <laughs> <laughs> we have got some new sew alongs coming up. We've had lots of talk about making a slip to go under some of the dresses we're making, so we're doing a half slip. Um, over a couple of evenings and I'll show you how to make your own pattern for that and how to add lace if you want to do that as well. We're going to do the Trina dress. This is a pattern that I've had for a while by Victory Patterns. I don't know if you can see that very well but uh, it's a lovely picture on the website. This is called the Trina dress and it's a wrap dress but it's got lovely big sleeves. It's got quite a vintage feel actually with the uh, seams across the bust there. Hi Jan, she's got oh, a new haircut and wearing dungarees. dungarees. Lisa oh. said, oh it's a long way. Oh yes, aren't you up near Manchester way, Lisa? I think you are. We had this whole uh, up way. north chat, didn't we? Yorkshire takeover. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Weeks ago. Oh lucky you Jan, my hair's getting cut on Monday. So yeah, so the Victory Patterns Trina dress is one of our new sew alongs that we'll be doing um, in the evenings. Uh, in I think that's in May, end of May. We're also going to do um, another pattern by Tom and Linda Flat. I've only got a picture of this, so wait for my pattern to arrive, which is a colour block dress. So it's got uh, a couple of different blocks of colour across the front. So I thought that'd be quite interesting uh, to do. Oh, Doncaster. Oh. Four hours. Margaret says she even managed to drop into Abacan Fabrics and get the button that she was short of. Oh, brilliant. For her orange and blue dress 18 months later. Oh, oh that's wow. Well, I'm so pleased that you combine your holidays with going fabric shopping as well. Yes, we're very. It has to be done, doesn't it? It does. You can only go away somewhere where there's a fabric shop. And Abacan is good for that sort of thing. So, yes, this is the Tom and Linda flat dress we're going to be doing. It's a lined dress, but what I liked about it was the colour block piece. I thought that'd be quite interesting to do a bit of colour blocking, lots of pivoting putting in different pieces. You don't have to make it that short, by the way. It looks very short. I know that uh, a lot of the pattern designers design their dresses, and then when they go to Vogue, they put them on six-foot models, and they all look like they're mini dresses. Oh, Susan says, I'm originally from Tick Hill. Is that near Doncaster? And Oh, no, we're going for the Yorkshire takeover again. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're also going to be doing the Maker's Atelier uh, tie-front blouse, which is from the Maker's Atelier book. If you've got that, that's a great pattern to make. You can make it 
from a sort of anything with a bit of drape. I like I let made it in a very nice uh, Georgette fabric, and it's got a tie neck which is quite low, which is here. Really nice, simple blouse to make um, to make, but really great, a really really classic blouse. Nice to wear under things like couture jackets and things like that. Um, oh, here we go. The Ponted Fraps and Harrogate here. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're very excited that um, some of you have heard me mention the blog Cloning Couture, which is written by Mary Fun Mary Funt, um, because I really love the way that Mary has designed her trims for her jacket. She's found a way of making really beautiful um, custom custom uh, trims for couture jackets using some yarn, either from yarn shops or unweaving some of your. Um, fabric or used to, well you used to be able to buy yarn from Linton I think they're discontinuing that so they've got a bit left but not very much so um, Mary is going to be doing a presentation on her couture trims for us in June uh, there'll be an evening class two hours and she's going to join us from Florida which is fantastic so we're very excited Mary and I had a lovely we met via zoom the other day had a lovely chat and organized it all so that's great so that's on the website all of those new sew alongs are now on the website if you feel like joining us for any of those, please have a look and join us for those. Oh, here we go. Lisa says, definitely a Yorkshire takeover. I feel a coach trip might be in order for the garden party. Yeah, let's gather up all our Yorkshire followers. All the way down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah coach it down. Take over a hotel. <laughs> oh, I've just got the roof window open today. That's a sign of good weather. Hooray. Yeah, you can always see that lovely roof window behind you on the sew along I was seeing that in my room. I've got Velux windows. And as soon as I start leaving them open, that it means it's summer. Yes, it is, isn't it? Yeah, it's really lovely today, isn't it? I'll be having the windows up, the doors open all weekend. So that's our new sew alongs, and obviously, as we're going to be continuing uh, the sew alongs, if you've got any ideas of things you'd like me to run as a sew along, um, we're probably going to do we'll do one evening a week, uh, and then we'll do one day a month. So it could be an evening or a day. So if anything you'd like me to run as a sew along, please let me know. Um, I always take suggestions. We had the Sunday pattern with Cynthia's suggestion. We had the Southport dress, which was Suzanne's. Um, this uh, Tom and Linda Platt was from Jamie. So yeah, it's always nice to get suggestions of things you'd like, like to make in a sew along. The only thing that I, I would find quite hard to do probably would be trousers because I really like to fit trousers in person. Although we're doing pajama trousers, which aren't quite so difficult to fit. Really, a nice pair of fitted trousers. We did do the. Um, Palisade pants, didn't we? With mm. elastic waist, which are quite simple. So mm. loose fitting trousers would be okay. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you'd like to make in the sew alongs. And of course, we are planning to be reopening on the seventeenth of May. So very excited. We're, we're making lots of plans for reorganising this room that I'm in now, which is normally the haberdashery shop. Because um, we only moved here last July, so we've only sort of half done it. So we're thinking, right, we want to get it all sorted before the seventeenth of May. Before we have people back in. So that's what we've been doing this week. What else have you been up to? I know Justine's making hats. I've seen lots of things going on this week. Um, what else have I got to tell you? Oh, there's a few new patterns I spotted this week. Um, True Bias, who make the Southport dress, have got a new skirt out called the Maid Skirt, which is a tiered skirt. That's a very on-trend, isn't it? There's sort of ruffled tiers that we saw on the... Um, uh, Sorry, that was supposed to be really... supposed to be subtle? <laughs> I think it's supposed to be the hot weather. Scent that's a bit loopy. Oh, and um, ladies, Lisa, Lisa's saying um, an, an Empire Line maxi dress for the garden party. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yes. We'll be having set times for the Habitation Shop opening. We'll have to do it by appointment, I think, Margaret. So if you're not from 17th of May, by appointment, um, because we'll have workshops and things going on. So as long as I know that you're, um, you're coming, then we can make sure we're here. So if you want to place an order and collect it or anything like that after 17th of May, just make an appointment to come in. Um, we are here most days, but just in case I've got a class running, which would be great. So yes, True Bias have got the maid skirt, which is a nice tiered skirt. I am Patterns have brought out a really new pattern, um, uh, really lovely new pattern this week called the Charizade dress, which has got a V front and a V back. And I thought it was, it was quite a loose dress, but I thought it was a really nice summer dress. And the other thing I spotted this week that is uh, somebody I follow on Instagram, uh, Pattern Cutting Deconstructed, who uh, do lots of um, pattern cutting kits and things like that. They, they are now on the fold line. I saw that. They brought out a pattern, haven't they? Yeah, but it's a kit. They have got some patterns, but they've also got a kit where you... you so the kit has the... They can be quite expensive, but you get a lot in it. 
So you get the bl a block for a, a basic dress or a top, and then they give you the um, they show you how to design the sleeves, basically how to pattern cut from a basic sleeve to a different sleeve, or how to pattern cut the basic dress into other design details. So have a look at pattern cutting deconstructed. I particularly I mean the um, particularly like the uh, top. She has a bodice, and it's got things like the zigzag seams down the front and things like that. So. Have a look at pattern cutting deconstructed on the fold line because that's quite exciting seeing so something a bit different rather than just uh, paper patterns on there. Janet's saying she didn't mean to shout, but I didn't see a previous message. Oh, from I didn't you, see Janet. a shouting message, Janet. Sorry, unless you deleted it before we saw it. Didn't see a didn't shouting see it. message. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry. <laughs> Janet had a haircut yesterday while we were having the sew along. Disappeared, came back having had a haircut. Well. Very lucky. So, yeah, lots of things I've been spotting this week. The other thing this week, which uh, is available, I'd rather have some tea because I can feel my voice going really. We do a lot of talking in the week, mm. we'll so along, especially you. Me too. I do a lot of talking. <laughs> I talk for England. Here's the new Makes Atelier magazine, which is available um, to pre order on the Makes Atelier website. It's a really lovely issue. It's got a nice free pattern in it this, this week, there, this, this um, top. Um, and it's got some. It's got lots of um, articles about smocking uh, this month. So lots of lovely articles to read. There might even be one about collars and cuffs, written by me. <laughs> so if you want to see all my tips for doing collars and cuffs, um, then this is a this is a really great magazine. I love this magazine anyway. I know I write for it, so I'm a bit biased, but I always love the Meg's Atelier um, patterns, and the magazine is great. This is this uh, Regency uh, garment. It's all made of paper. Hmm. So Do you yes. follow Pinsent Trade Tailoring? Yes, I love Pinsent Trade. Pinsent Trade, yeah. yeah. Trade. I wonder yeah. if she's talked to him. I expect so, because isn't he from... He's from Brighton, Brighton yeah. Brighton, isn't he? Yeah. Lots of lovely articles about smocking, um, yeah, and, how, and some instructions on how to do some basic smocking on this little uh, dress or top, so... Uh, really great. Julie says she's ordered the off-the-shoulder pattern that you suggested. Oh, right, oh, the one we talked about, yes. Uh, Julie oh. said he, Jo says email. we've gone Where from we gone? Facebook. Oh, there's somebody at the door. Uh oh. I'll have to go and answer that. Okay. Uh, I, can, I can still see myself on Facebook. <laughs> I think we're still there. I think we're still there, Jo. Just refresh your screen. I, I haven't seen us drop out. Has anyone else seen us drop out from. Oh, Helen's had a haircut. Helen, lucky you. I can't wait till Monday to have my hair cut. Oh, thank you, thank you, Lady Lisa. That's brilliant for letting us know. And Jackie's saying we're still there, so thank you, Claire. It's always good to know. We, and this week, actually, on a couple of the sew alongs, we had a power cut. Ooh, just arrived. Oh. Something else to talk about. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, we had, a, we had a power cut in the middle of one of the sew alongs. Oh, Margaret's had a hair cut. She had six inches. I'm going to have about six inches cut off, I think, as well. I'm lovely. So yeah, just going back to this magazine for a sec before I move on to something else. The other good thing about the Makes Atelier magazine is that she gives you lots of ideas of different ways of using her patterns. So um, different fabrics, different whether you make a top into a dress or... Yeah, so it's really, um, really worth it. That's my little article that I did. Oh, um, Susan says she bought some Maison Faux patterns from Higgs and Higgs. The leaf dress and the lily dress. Isn't the leaf dress lovely, Susan? Yeah, we're, we're going to show some of those yeah, in a minute. Yeah, got some of those to show when she comes in, actually. Oh, Lisa's going pink and blonde tomorrow. Oh, ombre, lovely. That would be so bye -bye nice. Bye-bye to the ombre. So, yes, I'm just flicking through now. Oh, so Maker's Atelier can... has just joined. Oh, we're just talking as you're about magazine, through. Francis. <laughs> Lots of lovely articles in here, Francis. We're, we're on live, though. Oh, sorry. You're just so reading I mean, I the magazine. I can't read the magazine. Yeah. Oh, I'll have to read it later, then. <laughs> And don't, I was going to say don't forget about the sewing machine, but I think it's sold out, hasn't it? Uh, no, I think we have one place left this year, and maybe four or five places next year. Oh, okay. So Francis, somebody booked this morning actually for next oh, really? for next year. Yeah. So Francis um, from the Next Telly and I, we run a joint retreat uh, in Brighton, uh, and it's been obviously been postponed a couple of times. But we are running one in August, and there's a couple of places left. September. On this year, September. Sorry, we're doing one in August. Yeah. <laughs> um, a few places left on that one as well. And um, yes, and we've got one this year and one next year with uh, Meg's Telly, and we, we, we get to we do a couple of talks, we work together, uh, uh, it's always good fun. And um, Francis we, says hello. Hi, Francis. 
and we and uh, you get um, a mix atelier pattern to make while you're on the retreat and then we go and do a bit of fabric shopping so it's always always good fun all the retreats are good fun but it's always nice to be collaborating with the makers atelier so that's a few things i've seen this week um so we really i suppose the next thing we need to talk about is the sewing bee what did you think of the sewing bee this judy week? judy morris says i ordered the maison faux Zerith pattern. Oh, that's that. no, that's the high neck one. You know that I said oh, it's got yes. all those lovely darts or pleats that we come either that from one. the top or from the bottom. It's quite yeah, we like that choose, one. Isn't it? We ordered ours directly from France, so it's, we were really pleased to see that the Higgs and Higgs have now got a lot of them. They haven't got all of them. Mm. But they've got a few. Yeah, they haven't got the new ones, no. which is why we ordered from the company directly. Yeah. So should we talk sewing bee? Let's talk sewing bee. What do we think of sewing bee? So I've got some notes over here. The summer here. week. It's so difficult at the beginning, isn't it, to remember everyone's names and everything. Getting there now. So what was our what was our um, decision on paper bag shorts? What do we think, paper bag shorts? Ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what Amy thinks. That's what I think. <laughs> it was difficult, wasn't it, because they only showed them on the dummies. Um, but I've been having a little look on Instagram since, and they I, I, I wouldn't wear them. Um, but there are some nice patterns for paper bag shorts if you like them. Trained patterns do paper bag trousers, actually, which you could cut shorter. They do a really nice pattern for paper bag style trousers. And if you go on to the fold line, they give you a whole list of all the patterns that um, are similar to those used on the, on the sewing bee. So you can just have a look and see. Joe, we don't need a paper bag sure? short. Are you sure? So you want me to do one of those? To be fair sale? though, I did, when I popped into the shops today in New Look, they had a lot of paper bag shorts, but a lot of them were in Jersey. Oh. Now yeah. I feel like I'd more likely wear them. Shorts wouldn't suit my 70s would. figure. So shorts would oh, would suit. suit. Yeah, would suit. If you're very, would if you're suit thin, your 70s yes. yeah. Hi Heather. Hi Heather. Oh, I didn't see that Patrick's going to be on Celebrity Masterchef. Oh, another reason to watch Celebrity Masterchef then. Heather. <laughs> so yeah, I wasn't keen, although Rafe's, having said I wouldn't wear them, but when you look at some of them that were made, I was quite surprised how many mistakes. I, I guess thought, it, thought it was it wrap, is it? Yeah. Um, um. <laughs> yes, that, that's why I like this dress. Hiding Listen, the menopause yeah, belly. The menopause belly. Something a bit looser. Um, yeah, I think Raf's uh, really stood out, didn't it? Because he not only made them well, but the pattern placement on the on those on that lovely big African wax print was really mm. great. Yeah, yeah they, they did look good. They were great. I mean, not, as I say, not ones that I would wear, but you could appreciate them, couldn't you? And poor Jean. Who got her, her her pockets badly wrong? Didn't match the notches. Mm. Who was it? Adam said he's a notch ignorer. Yes. Oh, I'm amazed that he did so well. I know. Doesn't he cut his it? notches? Yeah. So yeah. So Raph stood out again on that one, didn't he? <coughs> didn't they? But um, they, they needed a turning, a turning stick. stick. They we did. said that they, see, they did. One need of my little turn. turning sticks for the for the belts. I can't believe they were all whipping those belts. I know, that was all trashed out and gone curly. They have a lot of Prim products as well, so I'm surprised yeah. that Prim didn't supply something like that. Mm. Or maybe they did and they didn't know what they were for. Yeah. I was surprised at how badly they were made. Well, some of them. I was quite them. surprised because if you're following a pattern, I know they must get nervous, I suppose, and just maybe miss some of the instructions. Um, Delight in Nature on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure who that is because it's a picture of a dog. Oh. But <laughs> uh, she said, not sure how many people have the figure for them. Yes, I know. They look quite good on the tailor's dummies, didn't they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was about it. <laughs> they definitely wouldn't suit me. No, no, no. But it was interesting to see them being made. There were lots of, lots of little t uh, techniques, weren't there? Um, pockets, turn-ups, belt loops, belts, things that we might want, you know. And then there was transformation yes. challenge. Transformation challenge, turning the board shorts into a dress. Oh, um, so it was something for the evening, wasn't it? Yeah. Any women? I mean, Adam's or? dress was the best of them. I, I, was, I was amazed when Patrick said, well, well, they're all quite wearable. I was like, well... I'm not sure I'm wearable's not, not sure the word. I'm not sure wearable's the right, the right word. <laughs> but it's always interesting, isn't it? It's always interesting to see that it's very, they're all very creative, but I mean, it's not an easy thing, is it, to make something out of a pair of board shorts. I would have probably got as far as making a skirt. I think. <laughs> not, not Just undo the crotch and yeah, stitch exactly. it over like when you make a jean skirt yeah. out of jeans. Yeah, that would yeah. be my limit on that, I think. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, that would definitely be the challenge that I Maybe would struggle on. Maybe the same on. thing and make a boot tube. <laughs> yeah, that would be the challenge I'd struggle on. I'm saying awful. Yeah. Yeah, so I, well, yeah it's a, 
Yeah, it's a challenge. I was thinking, oh, yes. Oh, one. Georgina. Yes, one. Delight in nature is Georgina. Oh, hi, Georgina. Thanks for joining us. The transformation challenge was daft, yeah. she said. It's every week, oh, isn't it? Mary said she wishes she could get it in the USA. They can't get British. Oh, I know. We had a discussion. There. We had a couple of ladies from America join us this week, and uh, I think it was on. Yeah, we had um, one la- or two ladies. We had, we had Bonnie during the day, didn't we, on Wednesday, and then Mary in the evening from Boston and New Jersey. And because uh, we're all talking about the sewing bee, and then and they can't watch it. So. I know. Sorry about that, ladies. <laughs> Janet, said, Janet said that Will from the repair shop is also going to be on Master Shop. Oh. Transformation Excellent. challenge. I must be psychic. Photo I sent you was of board shorts. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Julie sent me a picture saying, "This is what I'm going to transform this." And it was some board shorts. Are you sure you don't work for them, Julie? <laughs> anyway, let's talk about the made to measure. That yeah. was much more fun, wasn't it? The made to measure was, I thought, was really good. The button down summer dress, and there was a few that we recognised there. You may have seen the French poetry etoile dress, which Amy's actually made before. That's the one with the with the ties at the sleeves. Rebecca made that, um, and Amy's made that before and, and just worn it on here. And the um, the uh, closet core Fiona dress. Um, who made that one? Uh, Loratu. Loratu made that one, which is the strapless one It here. was the bright yellow. Yeah, and it crosses over on the back. And that's actually quite a difficult dress to fit, so we think she did really well with that one. It's a lovely dress, but you've got to spend a bit of time fitting that. I've made that one as well, but I just mm. I, ha- I need to fiddle around with it because it just doesn't fit. Actually, it was interesting that they mentioned that Loratu's one was gaping a bit at the front. Yeah, because that's, what, my, that's found, what mine does. It's yeah. too gapy on the top there, so mm. I think... You need to adjust your high bust yeah, when exactly. you're making it. But it was, it was uh, Adina who won with her self-drafted dress, wasn't it? This week? Yeah. That was really clever. It was very clever. Yeah, and she got very emotional. Emotional for a good reason this time, rather yeah. than last week when they were upset. So I, I did. I loved Adina's dress. I was a bit concerned that the buttons just seemed very far apart. So there must have been something else holding that dress together in between. Wasn't mm. there? If you looked at those big buttons, they seemed quite far apart. But it was. Yeah, it was really. That was my favourite one, that one. And, and, and then um, uh, Raph made the lobster. I like that, the uh, fabric dip dyed. Yeah, that was a Minerva fabric. Yeah, that was really good. What was your favourite? Um, what was Damien's? Oh, he did oh, the I liked... fabric with the really good pattern matching, didn't he? Yeah, he redeemed himself this week, didn't yeah, he? Yes, he did. He was um, a bit calmer this week, wasn't he? Adam, his 1950s polka dot dress with the red buttons i really loved that and the red piping oh that was nice yes yeah. and then there was another vintage one wasn't there yeah uh, andrew, andrew made it but the her, his belt had risen above the waistline. Above the waistline i like that and if you again if you go onto the fold line that is actually i think it's a butterick that's actually a butterick pattern yeah um, one of their vintage patterns uh, and also the um so direct do a, a newsletter which normally comes out on a friday evening uh, and they always have the uh, Butterick both both versions of all the patterns from the sewing bees. Have a look at that. And Wendy Gardner does a little blog about it as well, about the sewing bees. So do have a look at that as well. I think Wendy's on Sewing Street today, so she'll be joining us. She is. Today. So what did you think of the other things today then? Did you the dresses? Did you like all the dresses? What was your favourite, apart from that lovely um Adina's dress? Which actually won Garment of the Week, didn't it, I think? It did. As well. So we're enjoying it. We're enjoying watching it on a Wednesday on our big screen here in the sewing room. It's always good fun. What we don't, not, not quite sure what they what they're doing next week. Oh, oh it's gents, gents, gents classics. classics. I, I couldn't work out what they were doing. I think they're doing a flat cap in the pattern challenge. Oh, that'd be interesting. Um, and but I couldn't work out what transformation or made no, to measure it was going to be maybe jackets do. i heard them talking about jackets and they looked like they were using a lot of hardware maybe it's like a bomber jacket or something then. something a men's bomber jacket don't know well, well, we're just guessing be... aren't we yeah we are yeah. we're just guessing jackie's saying definitely adina's dress yeah. yeah it was a shame to see jean go wasn't it but she was struggling a bit this week oh georgina says my favorite was raf's yeah the, raf's the dress no raf was anchor at the anchors oh, and anchors. lobsters that's right and it was a dip dyed fabric wasn't yeah. it so it was yeah that's right. yeah i liked that one too yeah very yeah, cute. So, I like that one as well. Yeah, so it's a shame to see Jean go this week. Yeah, Georgina is saying loved how he dyed the fabric himself. Mm. He's good, isn't he? He's very creative. Although he's only recently taken up dressmaking during lockdown, he's obviously because he worked with textiles, it's sort of coming naturally to him, isn't it? Yeah, he's good. I like him. Yeah. He's my favourite at the moment. 
Yes, I think Can't so. call it yet, though. Anyone going to yeah. make any predictions based on second Jackie episode? Saying, yeah, Jackie's saying that he's one to watch for the final. Yeah. Adina, uh, Adina and uh, Raph, I think, at the moment. But it's difficult to tell, it, isn't it? It is hard it? to because tell. They're... Yeah, I'd say Adina and Raph. Mm. But we, the, we last week were thinking Loratu because she was seemingly like she, she was, was doing so well. And then she fell week. apart this week. Yeah. She was good. Her final dress was good. Yes, yeah, 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 she did um, very well at making that. Mm. Oh yeah, Georgina saying Raph. Mm. That's her prediction. I think mine's going to be Raph. I'm going for it. I'm stating it now. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I'll forget this though, and then we'll watch back. To and watch go, back. Oh no, what were we thinking? Yeah, it'll probably be Damien. Yeah. <laughs> or Adam. I do like Adam as well. I think he's very good. Serena. Serena oh yes. yeah, she Serena's could. The, one, the young, the young, girl. young girls, isn't she? She made a dress that you weren't keen on the line drawing. It had really big puffy sleeves, and I was trying to convince you that they're really yes. fashionable. But it looked better once she'd made it. It did, didn't it wasn't it? quite so, yeah. I'd like to see Joe sew something. <laughs> I do you like Joe? He's very good. He is he? very good. Yeah, I think he's really um, made them all relax and made, made actually Patrick and Esme seem much more relaxed, don't they? It's all got a little bit sort of, they do the little comedy skits like Bake Off yes. does now. It's quite funny. Yeah, with the red know. button and like, yeah. Esme walking past and just hitting the red button. <laughs> I love the way she walks. I think she's got a really good sense of humour anyway. And it, was, it didn't really come out in the previous series, did it? So No. And Patrick's softened a bit. A little bit. He has, hasn't he? Yeah. yeah. So lots to... Lots to um, liking it so far, this series. We are. We are liking it so far. They're all very good. They're all very brave for taking it on. It's not something I'd want to do. No. I don't think I could sew that fast. Yeah. Well, probably if I wasn't finishing. You you do sew quite quick, but it's it's different when you're doing something brand new. You've not seen the pattern before, isn't that? You have to sort of yeah. get straight into it. And it's so, so difficult not being able to finish off all your seams yes. properly. And I know I saw somebody mention that on um, one of the groups, one of the Facebook groups I follow, saying why give them such a short time to make it because they're going to edit it anyway mm. so they could instead of giving them very little time and um making them all stressed and then criticizing them for bad finish why don't they just give them eight hours yeah it's going to be edited anyway so yeah you know they don't have it would time. be much better it'd be quite nice for them to give because i'll sew along so I'll, where's I'll the jeopardy though that's the problem where's the jeopardy yeah they are trying to get a bit more focus on quality but it's very difficult to do quality in such a short time isn't it it is difficult. You've only got to make one mistake. <coughs> it's like in, even in the sew alongs, you, know, you only have to. I did a mistake yesterday. What did I do? I sewed one of my panels upside down. So I have to unpick it. Because what pattern, this pattern, it is direction. It's a directional pattern, but it's very similar both ways. Yeah. So obviously overnight, I just laid it down the wrong way up. So, and that's you know that's half an hour unpicking, isn't it? So straight away. So anyway, I was going to do a little demo today. Um, so. Oh yes, while we're talking about Sewing Bee, I did order the book, because this came out this week, the Sewing Bee, the Sewing Bee book, it's uh, the Techniques book, um, and you can get it on Amazon, and it is quite nice, I've only literally just arrived today, so I've not had a good look, but it looked quite good on the, um, on the website, so yeah, it's, it's just showing you lots of basic techniques, there's no patterns included in this one, it is just techniques. Uh, Janet yeah. says it takes me five hours to cut out. Well, you see, that's the thing, and that's what you need to spend the time on, isn't it, Janet, the cutting out? Um, pattern alterations and cutting out. So, yeah, lots of uh, lots of techniques, nice drawings. It's quite a nice size book, it's not too big. Um, I don't know who it's actually been written by, so it's probably... Uh... Oh, Janet's ordered it, Jilly's has just arrived. Yeah, yeah I was literally just arrived, I had to go and get it just now. <laughs> While we were Sarah got up, photographed by filming, so it's not, it's, I think it's probably a... Yeah, Georgina's um, saying who's actually written it. Yeah, it doesn't. It's just been edited. So I think it's probably uh, techniques brought together from other books that they've uh, something from other books. I would imagine, um, and it hasn't even got a forward. Normally, the same big books have got a um, a little bit in the front by by the presenters, but this one hasn't. Because as you know, I helped I uh, helped write one of the previous same big books with Wendy Gardner wrote it, and I helped um, with the garments. Um, and uh, the pattern making for that previous book uh, and uh, there was a forward in the front from Patrick and Esme but this is quite a lot smaller than that there's no pattern it wasn't it. Esme when you did it isn't it, Is it no it, it might have been May actually yeah. yes it might have been it was a while ago it was two series ago it was more than that yeah 
<laughs> it's a long time ago. Yeah, it was a very stressful time. I remember that. It was a very, <laughs> Wendy and I were very stressed. <laughs> but we did it. We did it. It was good. It's all good. So, yeah, so that's a thing to look out for. I think it's quite good. I haven't had a good look at it because it literally has just arrived. But it's a nice, it looks like quite a nice book uh, for just for techniques. Janet's saying, I hope the techniques are as good as yours. They're bound to be different, aren't they? Because there's lots of techniques for different things. So you can probably make notes all over it. Uh, Susan on Instagram said, any chance of having sew alongs on evenings other than Thursday? I don't think I so. I don't think we can because I do a Monday to Tuesday here in the sewing room. Um, so I don't know that I'll be able to do... Thursday seems to be the only night. Maybe. We might now and again throw a Wednesday, throw a Wednesday in Wednesday in, yeah. But otherwise we're working... 18 hours a day every day. <laughs> this week has been crazy because we've done three this whole days and three evenings. So, um, But we can certainly try. Yeah, so we'll have a look. Try, we'll try and mix it up a bit, Janet, so we can... You know, no, that was Susan. Susan, sorry. I was obviously here, Janet, over there. Uh, where, where to get Indian-style trims for the tunic? Well, BB Rulo probably, Jimmy. Yeah. I would suggest BB Rulo. Um, there is a place called Fan New Trimmings. I'm sorry, it's a very loud motorbike outside. <laughs> Shit, uh, yeah, try um, BB Rulo would definitely be my first choice for that. Uh, you could try Fan New Trimmings. I don't know what their website's like though. Um, Georgina saying on Insta, I wish they would have a plus size week with plus size models. Yeah, yes, they have done that before, but I don't, I don't know, know if this year they'd be able to because of the bubble. They're in a bubble, aren't they? With oh, models? they have to keep the same model. I think so, but yeah, it would be good, wouldn't it? Actually, because have I they done it on sewing bee, or was that um, project? Uh, it might runway. be um, either project runway or making the cuts. It was it one. Of, I think it was one of the American ones that did plus size. Will we still be doing Friday Facebook after May the seventeenth? Well, now, Barbara, we have been talking about this because obviously we really enjoyed um, chatting with you every Friday. But once the classes start back up here, um, we won't be able to do it. Um, I'll spell that for you in a second, Jilly. Uh, um, won't be able to do three o'clock live, live. So we may do a 5.30 uh, Facebook Live, and it may not be every week. It may be, um, Amy's gonna type it in for yeah. me, Jilly. It may be a 5.30, it may be every couple of weeks. So we've really enjoyed keeping up with you. So if you'd like us to carry on with the Facebook Lives, and you'd be happy for us to move from three o'clock to 5.30 on a Friday, let us know. Um, and we'll carry on doing them. It won't be every week, probably every two weeks, I expect. Um, so there you go. Oh Bob no. Said that'll be good. Now my. Oh no. What? What have you done? Well, now the keyboard is covering the comments. I can't get the keyboard to go away. <laughs> <laughs> so you're in charge of Facebook comments. I can't okay, see okay. it anymore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Julie, you were close, weren't you? You were just saying it how I said it, though. <laughs> so yeah, VB Rulo. Uh, I haven't done I haven't done roll tem on the overlocker demo actually, Barbara. We will do that if you'd like us to do a roll tem on the overlocker demo. I will do that one week. That'd be a good future one, wouldn't it? So, ah, uh, Susan saying five days is an even better time. I think well, if one starts to get back to work, mm. you know, it's been lovely during lockdown. Three o'clock has been great because everyone's just at home, aren't they? But now we can all go out and do things. And um, if I'm running a class. On a Friday, my classes normally finish at five on a Friday, so we'll just move into here and and do a Facebook live. I understand? I can't understand why it's not working. Look, it's twenty to four. And I haven't done my demo. Oh goodness, we're just here chatting. Chatting. Oh no, and it's a long demo. Yeah, it's a oh, long demo. Oh, we're going to overrun today. Yes, we are, aren't we? So I want to do a little demo today. Now, when we, um, you know, last week I did the pocket, the French seam around a pocket because we talked about different pocket. Uh, techniques on our um, we're doing the Sunday pattern the dressing gown pattern so it came to Tuesday night and the Sunday pattern is supposed to have patch pockets but and we're doing Hong Kong binding and then a couple of ladies said they'd like to do Hong Kong binding but do an inseam pocket I forgot to bring my kimono in to show what I mean the finished sample your white one no right. it's in there yeah do you want to oh, yeah, just grabbing it um, oh Claire says anytime on a Friday it's a nice end to the working week oh thank you Claire so we actually, I had actually taught how to do this on a previous sew along, which was our kimono. Because um, it is, to get it neat, to do Hong Kong binding and then go around the pocket can be a bit tricky. So this was the, um, this is my kimono that we made. 
and this is what I mean about um, Hong, a Hong Kong bound seam with an inseam pocket. I can't like see the Facebook one, it's really annoying. I don't know how to get the keyboard off the screen. There should be a little. Oh, there, I've done it. Done it already. <laughs> I was scared of pressing that button in case it ended the live, but uh, it didn't. <laughs> there we go. There we go. So that's, I've got Hong, a Hong Kong binding seam, and then um, that's the pocket. So I'm going to show you how to do this, because it's a little bit tricky, but I thought if I do that now, then you've got it recorded, and the ladies who are doing the class on the Tuesday evening will um, be able to see it. So, I need to move this machine over. I'm just going to put that on. You're going to hang that up for me. So when you're doing a pocket, an inseam pocket, and you want to use this technique, you're going to need um, a pocket um, pattern piece that has, you need to make a mark where you stop, stop sewing. So I normally do, this is one from actually from the kimono, but as long as it's about three centimetres from the top or bottom of the um, pocket. So I'm just, oh, thank you, Jilly, lovely, lovely nails. <laughs> Thank you, Jilly. I've got to get used to having long nails again. So you need a pocket piece and you need to have dots about three centimetres from each end here um, because whereas normally with an inseam pocket we stitch the pocket in for the whole length, when you're doing this technique you're only going to stitch uh, between the dots. So I'll show you what I mean. I've done a little bit of prep, Amy. You'll be very pleased to know. Have you done a full-size pocket? I have done a full-size pocket. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I should have said that, shouldn't I, before you started. Yes, so <laughs> I have done a full size pocket. So <laughs> we're going to be here till five o'clock. <laughs> My taxi will turn up and we'll still be live. <laughs> <laughs> so you place your pocket um, to right sides together, uh, to one to the front and one to the back, and you stitch it in place. <laughs> I don't know what's happening today. Just getting hysterical, it's yeah, the sunshine. I really am. One to the front, one to the back, and you stitch them between the dots. So about three centimetres from the top and bottom in the stop. The one that's on the front, you're going to then press to one size and understitch. So this is my front. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to press both your pockets out, but one's going to be understitched and one not. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is put your pockets right sides together. I haven't done my new products or anything. Oh, you can do that while I'm I'll just sort of sliding new doing products. cocktails. Yeah, it's all right. We can overrun. I'm sure, people won't mind. Oh, nice watch it on catch up. So the next thing you're going to do is stitch the pocket bag together. So pull the seam out of the way so you can stitch the two pocket bags together all the way round. So I'll put a few pins in. I've got calico, so it sort of stays in place quite nicely. But if you're doing this. On a nice fabric you'll need to put more pins in and go right to the end there just bring the uh, machine over I mean, the mat. Mm -hmm. okay can you see that mm -hmm. okay. so i'm just going to stitch this pocket bag together While you're doing that, this is a new magnetic pin dish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a few new products. Yeah, they've just come in. They're metal. They're really pretty. Little mag and it's got a little magnet in the base, so all your pins yeah. sit in the little dish. How cute. Something black or gold. There's a gold one. Oh, there's there. a gold one. It's like rose gold. Yeah, pretty, it's pretty isn't it? Yeah, I like those. Fan of them. You can, I mean, these are good, but those are even better because you can really chuck your pins in those. And the uh, fashionista tweezers are back in stock. Oh, these are our favourite tweezers. Ooh. The fashionista tweezers. I've got loads. We do have Disney princess versions too. <laughs> <laughs> the next thing you're going to do is bind the edge of this pocket so stitch it together and then bind it so take your binding and press it in half and when you're doing your binding uh, for this particular sort of technique fold it not exactly in half fold it so that one is one side is slightly shorter than the other because then when you're stitching from this side you'll know you're going to catch the other side underneath so don't fold it exactly in half 
fold it with one side slightly longer. Then you can go all the way around the edge of the pocket with your binding. So I've got to get used to sewing with long nails again. So <laughs> Janet says it looks like you're under sewing bee time pressure. It does, doesn't it? I'm, I'm feeling Emma, I'm feeling um, Amy glowering at me for doing a full size pocket. <laughs> <laughs> my own fault for not putting my foot down <laughs> but I always sort of think once I scale everything down it doesn't look like the real thing does it anyway I'm just doing a bit of pinning <laughs> we I could have done both demos at the same time what cocktail and sewing at yeah. the same time <laughs> one week we'll try that It'll be funny what, one on Instagram one on Facebook yeah yeah <laughs> To flick between the two to decide which one you want to watch. Everyone will want to watch yours. I don't know. I think a lot of people stay for the cocktail. Well, I've got a very summery one today. Well, that's good. Perfect that's for a we summer's need, day. It? We're actually going after the this evening. We're actually going to meet Victoria for a little drink in the pub garden. Very excited. And I decided we like this pub. Thank you, Jackie. Jackie's saying <laughs> it's, it's easier to see full, to full size. size. Thank you, Jackie. Pin and stir, Susan says. <laughs> there we go. So it could get complicated though, couldn't it? You could be. I might, yeah, might start <laughs> stirring the drink with the pins. Yeah. Or something. <laughs> so and next, I'm going to sew this on. I had to pin it because I can't. I'm not very good at. No, I wouldn't doing have done it without that pins. pins. Okay, so I put the binding on, and then stitch around pocket so the pocket will then be bound so you'd be using matching thread so it would look much neater Just remembering the empty Taylor's dummy. Oh gosh. She's in the background. Oh yes, it's the empty Taylor's dummy right over there. In shot. Yeah. <laughs> in shot anyway. Oh well. Everyone's used to us by now. Yes. So now we can, so that's the, the pocket is now bound. Now we can stitch the seam above and below the pocket. So um, keeping the pocket out of the way, I'm now going to stitch the seam from the top to the dot there and from the top from the bottom as well, from the bottom to the dot. So just keep the pocket out of the way and stitch the seam above and below. There. Let's get this pocket out of the way. There we go. And then we can stitch to the pocket. Just keep it out of the way and stitch the seam. So we're finishing stitching on the dot. And you could do, if you've got a locking stitch on your machine, that might be a bit easier to do at this point. So I'm going to stitch from the top down, that'll be easier. Just find it a bit easier to stitch down. Keep the pocket out of the way and stitch down to your dot. Locking stitch. There we go. And then you would press the seam open. Let's just get this all flat. Here. That's 
way do I want to go? This way, that way, that's it. No, this way, sorry, this way, there we go. There we go, that's it. Like that, so press your seam open, above and below. And now we're going to Hong Kong bind the seam all the way down. So I'm going to I'm give that a quick press, excuse me. Otherwise it's going to look a right old mess. You've made it look so much easier than on the sew along. Oh, <laughs> I think it's because it was on the um, on the jacket, wasn't it? So there we go. Janet's saying she loves the rose gold pin tray. The shallow ones don't accommodate many long pins. That's very true. With heads, might have to ask you to reserve one for me. Oh, you know oh. what happens when you watch a live, Janet? They all fly out the door. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to, when I do my Hong Kong binding, I use two different machine feet. I use the, um, for putting the binding on first of all, I do the, use the quarter inch foot. I just like to, any foot that helps me um, not have to look at the needle. Can you grab my plea cases out of my box over there? I think I forget something. I think I forget something. So quarter inch foot, so you can just attach the binding quarter inch seam all the way down And then we're going to wrap the binding around the seam allowance and stitch it in the ditch. I would like one of the pin trays too, says Barbara. Oh, they're on the website. I'm here Reserve for me. Reserving. Okay, so then we're going to stitch in the ditch all the way down. So I'm going to put my ditch foot on. So on the Janome, the ditch foot is S. That's that one there. It's got a guide in the middle. The guide is right. Uh, the guide is right um, in front of the needle. So it just again helps you to stitch a straight line without looking at the needle. Sometimes I have to move the needle over a tiny bit, depending on the thickness of my fabric. So just keep the. Um, Trim off the excess binding with my with scissors. The applique scissors I find the easiest for this because you can put the duck bill part of the scissors underneath and trim off the excess. I really like the applique scissors, but I find they hurt my fingers. Oh, I was going to send Susanna a pair, wasn't I, Jimbo? Oh, yeah. Um, because hers had weren't cutting properly so we think she might have a dodgy pair so that's one side of the seam done and then underneath they're going to do the same thing I might have caught a, caught a little bit there in my haste to stitch the seam but there we go so we can do the same thing on the other side so stitch it with a quarter inch seam and then turn it around and stitch in the ditch that is the plan. <laughs> I have caught a little bit there. I'm just going to snip that because I caught a tiny bit. Just grab that. Wouldn't be a wouldn't be a close demo without a little bit of an unpick, would it? Just a little bit there. That's caught. I'm just going to unpick it so that it pulls out. There we go. That's pulled out. 
That's better. There we go. So if I put the quarter inch foot back on to do this side of the seam. What letter of the quarter inch foot for Janome, uh, Helen's saying? Oh, sorry, O. I think, hasn't we got a letter, but I think it's an O. Oh, yes, it's the little, like, it's a a little stamp, yeah, isn't it? It's a stamp, which looks like an O. Uh, Jan says, well, I was going to do patch pockets on the utility coat, but not so sure after the demo, wondering how <laughs> to do both. Oh, you could do both. I don't see why you couldn't have that. Uh... Oh, Suzanne's just popped in. She'll catch up later. <laughs> just, doing, uh, just doing Hong Kong binding around the pockets, Suzanne. I think Suzanne, didn't Suzanne go to the beauticians today? Wasn't that her thing? I think that's what she was doing. I just remembered that I was going to send you some applique cases as Suzanne, so... Let me get that sorted. Side's done, wrap the uh, binding around the seam and stitch in the ditch. So it's a really nice way of adding, because um, we like to do Hong Kong binding and often, like, with, like last week with the French seam, you think, oh, if I'm doing that seam finish, I can't do a pocket. But you can. Ignore that little hole, that's just because I unhooked oh, it. There we go. So I'm going to put my ditch foot back on. Okay. And I would sew that again um, in the same manner as the first one and trim it. But as we're running a bit late, I think you, you know what, you get the gist. There we go. So that would be all like that. So there you go. So that's your pocket with Hong Kong binding as well. It looks so easy now, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> it is easy. There you go. Lovely. One pocket with Hong Kong binding. Good job, you did that in 10 minutes. Did I? That was very impressive. <laughs> For like 12 minutes, yeah. Well, I could have stitched a bit closer to the edge there, but there you go. You get the idea of it and the order of work. So a bit longer. Said you might have passed your sewing bee audition. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I know you want to see the cocktail. So there you go, give it a go. Um, you just follow that step by step. You can see the main thing is you stitch the pocket in between those dots. So there you go. Have a go at Hong Kong binding around a side seam pocket. I hope that was helpful. Um, I don't like to think that you, you know, think you can only do overlocking when you're doing pockets, or you're going to miss out putting mm -hmm. a pocket in. I've got pockets in this dress, and I love it. I did. Oh well, I did French seams around, like Mum demonstrated last week. You did it, didn't you? I did it on mine, and I had. We were on the sew along, and I had playback on the live. <laughs> so I could see the demo again. So we'll be able to do that this week, won't we? Yeah. Playback on the playback on the line. So there we go. Amy's going to pop in now, and uh, you can see her southport dress. I'm going to move over. I'm just going to plug the phones in in case they die. That would be tragic, wouldn't it? If we lost you too soon. Amy, yes. Amy's um, Amy's got her southport dress on as well. Ooh, I do. I just ran my chair over my dress because it is falling. They're very long, yeah. They're very long. Not used to wearing long dresses yet. Okay, okay, apologies to uh, a little Instagram. bit. Instagram. Because I realised on Instagram I wasn't actually really on it last week. There you go, that's perfect. <coughs> there we go. Hello, come in. So there we go. Hello, Dress. Oh, Phil said, really good demo. Ah, good, good, good. So this is my one. Oh, that was a good remember your patterns. Yeah, last <laughs> week I forgot to show you my new patterns, so this week I put them on my chair. <laughs> Let me just bring the trolley over as well. So both of our dresses, we both made these, I'll stand up as well actually because you can see both of them together. Both of us made our dresses in fabric from um, Bloomsbury Square. Yep. Both, they're both quite heavy viscoses. Yeah. Mum's is a Spanish viscose twill and mm -hmm. mine is just a, a heavier viscose. Yeah. Yeah, lovely. And really nice yeah, dress. I'm really pleased with it. It's really comfy. Nice to make, wasn't it? Oops, I'm going to wear it all the time. Ooh. Oh no, I'll just run over it. Yeah, don't I Gorgeous. <laughs> Gorgeous fabric. Thank you, Jilly. Yeah, yeah it's good, lovely. It's pretty square. And it's got great colours. So it's it's got these really, it looks like camouflage, but actually it's really giant, big flowers. Mm. So it needs a dress like this yeah. to be able to carry off that 
fabric. Pretty, but I really fancy making the short version in a double gauze or something. Yeah, I want to make the nice. short one in like a denim chalet, uh, chambray. Yeah, that'd be like nice. Like a lightweight denim chambray. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah. you, Carolyn. Thank you, Carolyn. It's a great pattern. Do, yeah. do you have a look at the... I'm going to make lots more. I think this is a really... Bias. And it's got a split. You probably couldn't see, but it's got a split uh, up the centre to mm -hmm. the knee. So Check it's... Check out the pattern. I think we've shown actually it. Actually, really nice We have shown wear. it before, but that's the, that's the pattern. And I don't know that people were inspired by the picture on the pattern. It looks really nice, but... Um, also, yeah. um, I can't remember if it was. Someone said it would look really... It would be really nice in jersey as well. Oh, yes, we did talk about yeah, that. Yeah, it, it would, would be really jersey. nice in a drapey jersey. Mm. Very glamorous. Well, we have to be glamorous in the sun. I'm actually going to wear this to the pub this afternoon and just layer up as it gets well, colder. I'm thinking the same thing. Yeah, I'm yeah. just going to put more and more hoodies on. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Yeah, It's a I great pattern. We said really that. Good. We said, I reckon everyone's going to want to make this dress now. <laughs> it's really flattering. And we all really liked this neckline. Yeah. But actually, it's not too low, not too high. No, it's it's a really it? nice... My buttons, I should have... I didn't. I didn't do my... I, I did the buttons as the pattern said. But it's not quite on my apex no. when I sit down. I did poppers. I didn't do buttons. Oh, that's right. I did little snaps. Fits nicely around the arms. Yeah, yeah. it does, doesn't it? Because I was concerned. I often, with this style, get gaping here. Mm. But didn't. I did no pattern alterations at all on mine. No, I just moved the bust dart yeah. down a bit. Yeah, the pattern photo was not inspiring because it's very flattering. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that actually. Once when you look at that, it's not. It's not. It looks nice, but it's not as nice as when you see it made up, is mm. it? Yeah. And I think it's quite good pattern for a larger bust because it's designed for a C cup. Mm. I'm actually a D, but um, I didn't have to do, I can't remember what size I did. 16 maybe? I did a 14. Yeah, I did a size bigger, so mm. I made a 16. Super yeah. fit, yeah. It was really great. And because this is a drawstring, mm. it doesn't matter if you put on a bit of weight. No. Because you just let it out. Perfect. And <laughs> if you pockets. lose a bit of weight, you draw it in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's got pockets. Yes. Did you lengthen the bodice? I didn't. No. Did you know? No, I moved the dart and then I double checked and it was still fine. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't, hardly any pattern alteration. No. Very happy with the South Port dress. Yes, we are. <laughs> Give it a go. So, so here's some more some that nice we want to try. Ones. Yeah. Mm. So we did an order. Well, first of all, oh, um, yes. this is a, a colleague? Associate. Associate. Um, Jan Janica, who works for um, the company that puts on the knit and stitch shows, is also a pattern designer. Mm. So he's just started a menswear range, and I have bought his. It's not a very good picture there. I've just bought his uh, bomber jacket pattern, and he's got. He's very good at tailoring. He always looks really slick in his waistcoats and suits, and mm. um, so he has a whole range. Uh, he has a waistcoat, bomber jacket, jeans. Uh, I think he's done t-shirts. Yeah, there's he's quite done a few. Sort of jobbers, isn't he, or something? Mm, yeah, yeah. Um, mm. so he's, and he's always releasing a new pattern. So I haven't tried it yet, but he's called the Bespoke Pattern Collection. Yeah. It's very, very, very basic instructions. Literally, it's just words. There's no drawing, so it, it does assume quite a lot of knowledge. Mm. Um, but I'm going to be really interested to try this out. I haven't really made much menswear before, so... Yeah, it's going to yeah, be interesting. Yeah, I'm going to try that out. Um, and then we... A lot of people have been mentioning Maison Fauve. Maison Fauve released some new patterns last week. They're a French company. This is one of them. This is the Penza Penzance? Byzance. That's Penzance. lovely. Byzance dress. That's the front of V-back, isn't it's it? It's the front. Like the and new, I don't know if you can really see. But oh, yeah, it's got this, this V front with a tie. And it's the same on the front without the tie. And cinched in the waist. And it's also got a top version. So mm. I'm really excited to make that. I'd like to make the top. Yeah, yeah. No, so I like top. We also oh, bought that the Nikki blouse, which is a blouse or a dress, and it's got a split sleeve. Is which it split or is it's it a pleated? Split. Oh no, it's pleated. It's pleated, isn't it? We thought it looks split, but it's not. It's pleated, so it's got this lovely crossover. Um, and we also bought the leaf dress. Which who was it? it has somebody a, said they bought that this morning. Uh, Susan said yeah. she bought it. It's got a crossover at the back mm. and buttons at the front. It can be a top or a dress. So, very excited about that. This one though, a few of her earlier patterns don't go up to very large sizes. Mm. So I'm not sure that I'm gonna be able to make this one. Oh, um, you can make it. <laughs> this one, no, this one's fine. And the new, the newer patterns are fine. She's gone mm. up to a much larger size. The instructions do come in English. All of the pattern information is in French. So you have to do a little bit of, unless you speak French, a little bit of. Uh, but the instructions are both, aren't they? But the they? instructions are both. Mm. And they're on the same page, they've got French and English. And it's not like them. Google Translate, she does actually speak English, the designer, because a lot of her Instagram posts, she does French and English. So, mm. very excited to make all of those things. When are you going to do that then? 
When the sewing room opens, <laughs> when the sew-alongs stop. When the sew-alongs stop, yeah. When, the se- when there's no more sew-alongs, I'll be able to do that. We'll bring that away. So what cocktail have we got today, then? Oh, also, she sells fabric. Oh, yes, that's nice. Yeah, she sent through these little samples of this goes is with the pattern, mm. little samples, really pretty. Um, and it's like been sprayed with perfume. Very nice. Nice branding. So like we said, some, some Maison Faux patterns are available from Higgs and Higgs, but otherwise you can buy them directly from Maison Faux. So today, a cocktail of something good for the garden. We are having a basil bramble sling. Cool. Basil bramble. Basil bramble sling. The main thing is, I've got all these random bottles now of liqueurs that I need to use up, so <laughs> I love the cinch pattern so along. The cinch, the, by, the Byzant... Yeah, Byzance. Yeah. The one with the V front and back, Janet. Yeah, that'd be nice. Uh, so I have creme de mure, oh, which yes. is, I need to get rid of. We need to get rid of it, we need to use. Use. Use it. So this has this in the It also has basil, fresh basil, uh, lemon juice, gin, and sugar. So a lot of equipment needed for this one. I'm quite excited about this one. This is going to be a yummy cocktail. Okay, loads of stuff. there is loads of stuff. So first of all, in your shaker, yes, that one, Janet's saying. Excellent. Well, we'll think about that then, Janet. First of all, per person, you want seven basil leaves each in the shaker, in the shaker. And you're going to muddle the basil leaves, which basically means squash. <laughs> just, you don't want to like break them up, but you're just bruising them to get all the oil, the basil oil, to sort of release itself. So once you have bruised your basil, uh, you then are going to put all the other ingredients in. So you want some ice. Oh, that smells good. Oh, we're going to make that mojito. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> with basil. All these things that you're going to So, with gin, it is 60 mils, which is a, just over a double shot. Uh, so, I'm going to just do a double shot each. This is per person. But the official measurement is 60 mils of gin. This would be a good one that you could make up in a jug. Oh, okay. Um, oh, look, we're out of gin. <gasps> Ooh. We might bar 60 mils after all. So <laughs> right, we get the taxi. Uh, it's 45 mils of lemon juice, so just under a shot. It's just under a double, yeah. Per person, so it's quite lemony. It is 15 mils of sugar syrup. Um, and like I've said before, I like Monin sugar syrup, but you can make it yourself. With uh, for this sort of sugar syrup, I'd recommend two parts sugar, one part water. You want a bit of a richer sugar for this one, and then again, 15 mils of the creme de mure. which is black currant. So could you use the other ones? Could you yeah, use you could absolutely use Chambord, you know, Chambord, you could use creme de fraise, you could use, uh, which is strawberry, you could use framboise, which is raspberry, you could use any of those current liqueurs. Um, very nice. Strawberries and basil are always good, aren't they? Strawberry would be delicious, actually. Mm. And then you get, oh no, wrong bit. Then you're going to shake it. Blackberry, Muir. Blackberry is Chambord. I think Muir is black currant, or is it the other way around? Or maybe black. Blackberry. I think Chambord is black. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm confused now. Maybe Muir is blackberry. I thought it's black currant. So once that's all chilled on the outside, you just. Cassis, yeah, Cassis. Oh, Cassis is black currant. <laughs> well, I'm confused with confused my. Confused your berry liqueurs. <laughs> yeah. uh, ice. Oh, Janet's placing all the. Thank you, Janet. So then, pop some ice in your glasses. Oh, Barbara knows. Barbara knows. Barbara's hot 
on the, on the berry. Cassis is black currant. Myrrh is blackberry. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Nice, lots of ice. Keep it really refreshing. Oh, Claire says that her daughter wants to learn about cocktails. Claire was just saying that her daughter got lots of um, lots of cocktail equipment and ingredients for her birthday last Sunday. Her mojitos after the sun. Yeah. <laughs> last night. So, so with yeah. this one, I would recommend a double strain. You don't want bits of basil. Or lemon. Is, or well. lemon, mm. especially freshly squeezed lemon. You might get some seeds and stuff. But yes, cassis will work. Black currants, blackberries, raspberries, whichever you... Oh, black raspberry is shambled. Uh, Honestly, I don't know where my brain is today. You know this stuff. I do. Pretty colour. It is a pretty colour. Okay. You could, if you wanted, top it with some lemonade or soda, if you don't want it to be quite so potent. Actually, they're supposed to be in like um, sling glasses, you know, like a really tall, skinny glass, but we don't have those. <laughs> it's another glass I need to add to my repertoire. And then, oh, my basil started a bit. A bit wilted, like the It was very warm in here. So you would just do some basil, do a little lemon. Yay. Oh, lovely. There we go. Thank you. That's so pretty. A basil bramble sling. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's lovely. Mm. That's got a really nice taste like mm. sweeties. It does taste like sweeties. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? And you get this like basil y mm. tone. Yeah, that's nice. You could oh, just lovely. sit and drink those. Imagine that topped up with lemonade. That'd be nice, actually. Really yeah. yummy. Mm. So, yeah, you could make a big jug of that and then just top it with lemonade. Cheers, Very everybody. Nice. Cheers, happy everybody. Friday. Yes, happy Friday. So wow. have, a, have a lovely weekend. That was really nice. I enjoyed yeah. it. I'm glad. <laughs> it's always good when you like them. Quite nice of them. I'm not yeah. keen on the whiskey. No, it's the whiskey. I was, I'm always happy to try. <laughs> <laughs> just in case. Yeah. Oh, Sorry, it's been a bit chaotic today, everybody. I don't know what's going it? on. Yeah, but there we go. It's because I've only got my nails done this morning. That's what it was. Oh, so we yeah, rushed in is, late. We, did, we were late getting here. We were here. late getting here. So, yeah. yeah. So it's been a lovely afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, have a lovely weekend. Enjoy the yeah. sunshine. It's going to get even hotter next week, apparently. <laughs> Heat waves are coming our way. We're going to wear our South Port dresses. Every day. We will. Every day. Mm. So, All right. I'd better go and turn us off. Yeah, Thanks for coming, everyone. Thank Enjoy you. the sun. Oh, Claire's saying you're her daughter's cocktail tea. Oh, yay! <laughs> Please ignore my forgetting which one was blackcurrant and blackberry. Yes. <laughs> he does know what she's talking I about. I do, usually. <laughs> yes, he does. Mm. So, thank you oh, so much. Cheers, for everybody. Us. Cheers, and have a lovely weekend. Enjoy the sunshine. Go and practice Hong Kong binding around pockets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we will see you all again next week. Thank Bye, you, everybody. everybody. Bye. -bye. Bye.